All right, so today's video, we're gonna make a tuna milk, guys. So I have two cans of tuna right here. Drained, of course. I'm using this tuna. It's called Island Run Chunk Light Tuna. I think I got this at grocery outlet, but I don't remember. You can use any tuna you want. All right, next we're gonna add some onion, chopped onion. I love onions in my tuna fish. All right, next we're gonna season it with some garlic powder, guys. Good amount where, you know, it's really seasoned. That's good enough. Some pepper. Some salt. Not a lot of salt because there's a little bit of salt. Now we're gonna use some relish, not a lot. But just a little bit, Let's see here. Let's see. Maybe that much relish, just a little bit. All right, so now we're going to add some mayonnaise. This is Best Foods mayonnaise. Maybe a couple of spoonfuls. And you just stir it well. So this is the consistency you want. Not too wet, not too dry. Looks pretty good. All right, now we got some sourdough bread. Now we're gonna assemble the sandwich. We're gonna add some cheese. Let me show you what kind of cheese I got. It's a sharp cheddar cheese. Sharp cheddar. I think any any type of cheddar, cheddar will be good. Let's see here. I guess it'll be good. So I'll put two cheeses on each one. I want the cheese to cover the whole sandwich. Yeah, that looks perfect. Now we're gonna add the tuna fish on this part of the bread. And if we're just gonna grill it or put it in the frying pan, toast it up till it's all crispy, all the bread is crispy. And all the cheese is melty. Should be good. All right, that's how it should look like. You don't want too little to fish. You don't want too much. I think this is the perfect amount. Now we're gonna fry it in the frying pan. All right, the next step we're gonna do, we're gonna add like a tablespoon or so of butter. Wait till it gets melted and like bubbly, then we're gonna start putting the sandwich and toast in it. Yeah, so wait till the butter gets kind of bubbly on medium high heat. And then we can start putting the sandwich on here. All right, it's nice and bubbly. Now we can start uh, putting the sandwich on here. All right, now we're gonna go ahead. I think I'm gonna make like I did this way. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put this on the pan. Yeah, and just cook it medium high so it doesn't get too burnt and the cheese will melt. All right, it looks perfect, so yeah. Just over here. All right, guys, looks really good, cheesy. I came to try it. Guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a tuna melt and some chips and a drink in emergency. I've been a little bit low energy lately, so emergency it is. So I haven't made a tuna melt in a while. I haven't had one. I think I did one on the Eat With Karen channel two years ago. I went to this cafe, um, but I'm here to try it out. Um, this recipe I followed on YouTube. She added two cheeses on each side of the bread, which I really liked. And she added like garlic powder and like salt and pepper to the tuna fish. And I, just, I like her style. 
What I didn't add was celery um, powder. I didn't have any, but I did that. So let's try it out. It's actually like really cheesy. Gotta check it out. Mmm. Crunchy. Oh, yeah. That's good. Mmm. So this video is kind of like a collab with Darcy Fude and Sabi Boom and a lot of other YouTubers. If we're doing like a virtual collab, anybody who does mukbang videos or ASMR videos can participate. So each week there is something different for the food. This week is sandwiches. I think next week is tacos. And then it's pizza. And then it's sushi, which I'll skip because I don't like sushi. Yeah, it should be burgers instead because some people don't like sushi, but I'm just saying. <laughs> and the last one is a dessert. That's an optional, but I think I'll do the dessert one. But it's, yeah, so it's, it's, so it's you know, a little fun thing to do, you know, so we can get to know each so we get to know each other's, you know, other people out there. So a lot of people who are starting out or don't have a lot of subscribers are going to do it. Get to know them. So that's really good. So since Dulce Fude and Sabi Boom kind of started this whole thing, I'm going to give them a shout out. I'm going to be giving them, you can check out their videos. I'll leave the links in my description down below. And I think what they're going to be doing, I'm not sure, but um, I think they're going to post any videos that they do, like that you guys do for the collab on their community board. And I think I will do the same thing. So if, if I know anybody that does a sandwich video and it's a collab with Fabio Boone or Dosi Fude, um, I'll put the, your guys' videos on my community board so you guys can check out new people. Be good to have a fresh start at some new McBon people, right? Hmm, <laughs> it's good. I wonder if Swiss cheese would have been good in here. I don't think it's really popular for tuna melts, but I got some Swiss cheese at Walmart the other day. And I, was, and I just love Swiss cheese so much. It's like my, my favorite cheese. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't know if Swiss cheese will be good in the tuna melts, but um, I might make some sandwiches. I got some turkey at Walmart. I, should, I think I'm going to get lettuce up tonight when I go there. And because I have like all this cheese, <laughs> I have more of this cheese. Maybe I'll make some burgers or a Swiss cheese. This is so good. I haven't had any of the chips yet, so I'll show you the chips I got. I got these at Walmart. They're called Cape Cod Waves Kettle Cooked Sea Salt. So yeah, they're, let's try some. They're very crunchy. <laughs> very crisp. Yeah. So in case you guys are new and you um, first saw my video because of these collab videos, I can talk a little bit about myself. Um, I work, currently I work two jobs. I work as a file, well, a file clerk at a car dealership, but that's soon going to be transitioned to the scanning, which should be fun. No more filing because that can cause me to have body aches, but you know, standing, lifting and bending, all that other stuff. And then I work Thursday to Sunday. I work evening shifts at Walmart as a cashier. So you guys have any questions about working at Walmart, let me know. I've been there for over a year. I do enjoy it, even though there's a lot of drama. <laughs> Before the COVID, I was at also at a part-time gig doing Reiki healing. I mean, pretty good money doing that. I, I made up, up to $100 an hour by doing that. It was really cool. But because of the COVID and all that other stuff, the social distancing, that's on hold for a while. It sucks. I still have to pay monthly rent, but it's not too big, too expensive. Otherwise, I think I get out of that. 
But I really miss it. I really want to do it. I've been craving to do Reiki healing. So hopefully soon I'll get back to do that. I think they're going to say, I think they said in my area, mid-August is when they could do massages. So I'm assuming that's when I can do my Reiki practice again. I don't know. Also, I just recently broke it with my boyfriend, so that's been on my mind lately. But um, just trying to think positive. I'm a very positive person, so I believe in the law of attraction and creating positive thoughts and positive affirmations. So I'm okay by it. Um, I think I want to take a break from dating and just concentrate on my YouTube, making more videos. And I also want to meet, meet new people, meet friends. I also want to travel when I can. <laughs> that type of stuff. I also live in a studio apartment. Yeah, I live in the Bay Area. I pay $1,400 a month for this. I know it's expensive, but I do get free PG&E. A lot of apartments, might, a lot of studios actually are going are going for $1,500 or $1,600. So I think that's a good deal in this area. Um, a lot of people want me to move out of California. It's really hard because I have family here. I have my sister and her three kids down the street from me. I also have my brother and my mom that lives in California. It's about an eight or nine hour drive from here. That's a little far away, so usually when I go see him in California, I'll just take the airplane because that's like, the drive up just takes so long to get like maybe two days. Well, not two days, I mean, but I don't know. I don't, I don't see my driving for an eight, nine, ten hours straight. I don't even know if I can travel because I think they said you can't travel for leisure, but I'm not sure if that's how long that is. So I have a really small space, it's extremely small. I don't have a living room space, but I just still love every day I wake up. I'm like, oh my God, I just love living by myself. It's so nice not to have any roommates or anybody living with me. I'm just a person that loves quiet and peace. And I definitely get that here. I don't, it's a, it's a cottage, so I don't share any walls with anybody. Um, I'm planning to do another um, studio apartment tour of, you know, I did one um, of it being empty. But I haven't, fin I haven't really did official one where it was, uh, everything was complete. I just want to get one more thing in my house. And that's like a plant in my bedroom area. There's a perfect space for it. I'm just trying to find the perfect plant. <laughs> There's not a lot of plants when I go to stores these days. So, But yeah, I'm planning to do that it's very soon. Hopefully if I can find a good plant. Because everything else is pretty organized and clean in here. I think it's good enough to do a studio tour. I also have my own private backyard. It's like a side yard, but it's really cute. I've done a few videos there. So if you search my videos, you'll see me eating in my backyard. Really, I call it a side yard. And there's somebody here that takes care of the plants. So it's really nice. It's really nice. So I think tomorrow, the next video for the next week is tacos. And so I think tomorrow I might do the taco video just to get that out of the way. Um, And then I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off work. I won't worry. You hear that? Thunder? It was raining outside. I was going to actually do a video outside, but I was like, oh, it's raining. Man, I can't do a video. I'm torn. I just realized usually when I do videos, I put like light makeup. <laughs> Guys, I just realized I forgot to put my foundation on, but everything else, I put my lipstick. It's very light makeup. I don't like to put heavy makeup, but, but eyeshadow mascara. But I totally forgot to put the um, mascara. Oh my God, it's so weird. Yeah, last year was probably one of the best years of my life, to be honest. I got my new apartment. I haven't had my own apartment in like seven or eight years. So that was an accomplishment. I got a new car, like a pretty brand new car. I got a new boyfriend. So yeah, last year was a really great year. This year, a little bit went down a little bit. <laughs> my money is a little bit lower because I can't do my Ricky home, but it's, it's fine. I have money saved, so it's fine. So I'm not too bad.
but um, this is pretty, this is a big sandwich. I don't think I eat all, all of it. The sourdough bread was basically, it's so freaking big that it's basically like two sandwiches. It's so big. Oh, it's good though. All right, guys, I think I'm going to end the video here. I'm really full. I don't want to get too full before work. I do have to work tonight. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Yep, see you next video. Peace.